Hi, my name's Steve Sokolowski, and today I'm going to talk to you about Life Central, the world's first personal lifestyle database. Life Central allows you to track your moods, foods, activities, symptoms, the drugs you take, and various body measurements in order to determine the correlations between these things to improve your health. Life Central allows you to both enter entries into the database and to view reports. The screen demonstrates an example of some entries that I've entered into Life Central and I've been doing so since the beginning of April. Here you can see that on May 30th, 2011, between 5.55 and 6.45 a.m. I spent time packing and unpacking suitcases and then between 6.45 and 9 o'clock I spent time in the car. I'm going to move the time I spent attending a business meeting from 6.30 until 7.55 on Thursday. It's that easy. Next, I'll click to add a new activity, such as sleeping, and I'll drag the activity to change its size. Now, I've just added a sleep period of 40 minutes. I can also add foods the same way, so I'll say that I want to eat some peas, and peas appear here. If entries don't appear in a database, you can suggest them simply by typing in the new name of the entry, such as garden salad, suggesting the entry, and clicking OK. It asks me if I want to suggest a food. I choose yes, and now we have a new entry of garden salad. I can also select multiple entries, drag them around the calendar to reposition them, and I can delete entries by selecting them and pressing delete. Tooltips also appear to demonstrate what the entry is. Next, I'm going to view some reports of the entries that I've made over the past two months. So I'll click on View Reports, and then I'll choose to view an Entry Frequency report by clicking on Entry Frequency. I'll select the date range of the report that I wish to view, which in this case will be from April 1st until May 31st, 2011. I'll select the entries I want to view. In this case, I'll select Sleep. And then I'm going to check Generate Report. And as you can see, my sleep schedule is pretty consistent. On most days, I sleep about 7 hours and 30 minutes or so. But on some days, I've slept very little because I've had difficulty sleeping. And on other days, my sleep has gone up above 8 hours, such as on April 14th, when I slept above 8 hours to about 8 hours and 15 minutes or so. Next, I'll go and view a regression analysis which allows the computer to determine the correlation between two things that you've entered into Life Central over the period of time. And the computer can determine surprising things about how different things you do are related to each other. So first, I'll select the same date range as previously, from April 1st until May 31st. I'll select that I want to compare specific entries, and I'm going to determine what things are related to when I'm angry or mad. So I'll select angry and mad under mood and then I'll click generate report. And as you can see anything that has a green correlation coefficient correlation coefficients run from 0 to 1 so 0 0.993 is a very strong correlation and being angry and mad is highly correlated to when I experience muscle pain. So either I'm angry because I'm in pain or pain is a somatic symptom that's caused by the anger. You can also see that I, became, I become angry for some reason on the days that I eat soy sauce or water chestnuts. And then there's many things that are not correlated that much as indicated by the red coefficients. But I can also determine that I'm less angry on days when I take calcium citrate supplements. So maybe on those days the calcium citrate is perhaps making me less angry. It's not clear without additional data because as you can see there's only 33 days worth of data available so far. Next I'm going to review my privacy settings. So I'll click on settings and as you can see there are only four profile fields that are currently required to be entered. 
Notice that first name and last name are not required. There is no other personal ident personally identifiable information other than gender and date of birth and your email address, which is used in the case that you forget your password. If you wish to remain anonymous, you don't even have to enter your email address, in which case, even if somebody were to gain access to your password, they would not be able to link any of the data in Life Central to you. Furthermore, you can also specify your privacy settings by clicking on Privacy Settings. Right now, everybody can view my entries, but if I remove everybody from my settings, and instead I choose to add permission to only particular users, I can allow my brother, or Christopher Sokolowski, to view my entries. And now Chris is allowed to view my entries. But since I removed everybody, nobody else is allowed to view my entries at this time. And if I remove Chris, then nobody else except for me, who has my own password, will be able to view my data. So these privacy settings allow you to determine who or if anybody should be allowed to view your data. So thanks for viewing our demonstration of Life Central. In order to register, all you have to do is click Create Account in the upper right hand corner. Creating an account only requires eight pieces of information and you'll be able to start entering data immediately. Hope to see you soon.